In this video, we will create a map of contours of groundwater levels. We need ArcGIS, groundwater level shape files, Excel, and rosters of groundwater levels. In ArcGIS, we'll need Spatial Analyst. Rosters are 3D files, in this case created from digital elevation maps. If you do not have rosters of groundwater levels, see the exercise and video on how to make a map of groundwater levels. For this example, we'll use a shapefile of Prey Vang groundwater levels from the country report. The tube wells were randomly assigned for the example and are not true locations. Land surface elevations were made in another exercise and video. If you need land surface elevations, see Add Land Surface Elevation to a Location. In ArcGIS, add a base map and the rosters you've made of Phase 1, 2, and 3 groundwater levels. The tube wells are shown as the large green circles. Let's open the toolbox, go to Spatial Analyst, Surface, and Contour. Here, the input roster is Phase 1. The output feature class will be the new shapefile of the contours. I'll name this Phase 1 Contour. For the contour interval, let's try 2 meters. The base contour will be 0, the Z is 1, we'll leave these options. There are no right or wrong inputs for these values, and they may change depending on the data set or what you need to do with the data. We'll click OK. Here are the contours for Phase 1. Let's repeat this process for Phase 2 and Phase 3. Let's look at our contours for Phase 1. Right-click, Properties, Categories, Value Field, Contour. Let's add all the values and apply. Here we see the values. Let's look at Phase 2. Here we see the scale has gone from 0 to 14. Now let's look at phase 3. Here we see negative 2 to 16. Notice that each shape file has a different scale with different colors. These can be unified in order to better compare the shape files. Let's find the one with the largest scale and use it as a guide. In this case, it's phase 3. Let's 
let's turn these off. And let's change phase three to look how we'd like. Here, I might choose a different color ramp. And then I will select all of these. You can do this by holding, clicking, shift to select all, right click, properties for symbols. Here I'll make the width larger, four. Okay, apply. Okay, now we can see the phase three contour levels. We can add a label. Here we can see 1, 2, 15. This is meters below land surface. Okay. Now, let's change the others to match phase 3. Properties. Here we'll choose import. Import the symbology from another label layer. We'll choose phase three, okay. Contour, okay. Apply. Same thing, properties, import. Phase three, okay, okay, apply. Now we can see the changes over time. Phase one, phase two, phase three.